I'm about to get in a bath full of milk. Got milk in my hair. Leanne's on wheelbarrow duty. I like the shape of this. The very first garden centre of the year. And they've got the Christmas range in. Oh, I like that. I have loved you dearly. I want to show you the final result. Hello. Welcome to another weekly vlog. Another week in pandemic paradise. Guess what? Life still isn't that exciting. <laughs> but you guys seem to be really loving these vlogs, so thank you so much for the support on them. They're never gonna be my most viewed videos because <laughs> why would they be? But those of you who do watch them seem to really enjoy them and it honestly warms my heart so much. I read every single comment. I reply to as many as I can. So yeah, just wanted to say that at the beginning of the vlog so you all see it. I wanna say thank you. Anyway, today is Monday. It's actually about lunchtime now. I'm just about to have a tuna sandy. I've spent the morning filming and editing. I've almost finished editing my morning routine, which will have been the last video that went live on my channel. It's a branded video, so I need to get it sent off for approval today. So yeah, that was my job this morning. It's so cute because I don't wanna show you my office right now, but it is finished. And today's the first morning where I've sat up here and actually worked. I haven't sat in this office and edited and enjoyed it for months, but I sat up here this morning sunny sat on this little rug behind me she just fell asleep and it was just so lovely and i just thought i'm so glad i've done this anyway i'm gonna have lunch give sunny her lunch and then we're actually heading over to my cousins we've been postponing this <laughs> until it was nice weather and today it's actually all right so we're gonna go around in the garden because my cousin recently got a little puppy. So weird, because no one in my entire family has dogs except one of my aunties on my mum's side. And she's always had rescue dogs. No one has ever had a puppy. And then in 2020, two of us have got puppies. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take Sunny round. My cousin's got a little French bulldog. Her name's Bella. She looks adorable. I'm so excited to meet her. Is there anything better in this world than puppies? I actually think they're quite hard to beat. Let me know in the comments down below, are you a dog person or a cat person? I am 1000% a dog person. Cats hate me. I think they can sense that I'm a dog person, so they just never vibe. Hello, I'm home, I'm all nice and cozy. I'm yet to take my makeup off, but Sunny and Bella, <laughs> It was so funny. Sunny's such a wimp though, bless her. We went there and I'm thinking, right, I'll keep Sunny on a really short lead. Bella's only three months, I don't want her to be scared. Sunny was terrified of Bella. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to throw her in at the deep end tomorrow because tomorrow we start dog training. If you watch my last weekly vlog, you will have seen that I actually went to dog training last week on my own. The first session was without the puppies. Tomorrow, we're taking the puppies. It's 10 o'clock now though, and I need to get ready all the stuff that I've got to take. I've started using this eyelash and eyebrow serum it's from a brand called sunny isle i got it in a glossy box a while ago i've not used it very much so i don't really know if it's working yet but i really want to use some lash serums and specifically brow serums because i want bushier brows i want like fluffy brows my brows are a little bit over plucked from when i was younger <laughs> i feel like that's a really 90s kid thing and it kind of makes me feel old but yeah i definitely over plucked my brows in my teenage years i mean look at this picture look at the brows in that where are they? So I want to grow my brows out a little bit. If anyone's got any recommendations for eyebrow serums that you use like overnight that actually help your brows grow, please do let me know. Drop me a message on Insta or something. Tell me your experience with them. I want to hear some actual real life stories because you never know when you go and buy reviews which ones are real, do you? I'm going to stick this one out for now because I've got it so I might as well. But I'd be happy to invest in any very good recommendations. Good morning everyone. Happy puppy school day. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm here with Sunny. I just brought her out for a quick walk in the hope that she'll poo because I really don't want her to poo while we're in the training. I just don't know. I feel like it could be so embarrassing. I know it'd be so normal and other puppies probably will do it as well. So I brought her out. Come on Sunny, you can do a poo. But I'm really looking forward to this training session. I think she's gonna really enjoy it. Well, are you gonna tell them or am I? You're gonna tell them. <laughs> we just got back from puppy training and Sunny did so well. You're such a good girl, aren't you? You were so good when I called you and you came back to me. Anyway, literally just walked through the door, put the kettle on to make myself a coffee, thought I'll have a little morning snack with it. The doorbell rings, you never guess what's arrived obviously food. I wasn't expecting this, but I've got this package from Flower and Flow. They do letterbox bakes, tray bakes, and cakes for all occasions. And are you ready? Look at this. So these are six different brownies, I'm guessing. This one is chocolate orange. I'm guessing this one is like a blondie with Cadbury's, potentially, maybe Galaxy. 
a lotus one. I'm so excited to try that. I'm guessing this one might be caramel. This one's got pretzels and I'm not sure what this one is. Maybe just a plain brownie, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's literally arrived at the perfect moment. So I'm about to have a cappuccino and I don't know which one to pick though. I think it's going to have to be the lotus one. I just love Biscoff. I'm a little bit spooked because I've just had a text from my manager saying, have you had any post arrived? And I was like, yeah, these brownies. Turns out she sent them to me. How sweet is she? Bless her. Thank you, Siobhan, if you're watching. I'm gonna devour these right now. I will share some with the fam because I know you would want me to. Hello again, it's me. I'm looking a little bit bedraggled because it's actually the end of the day now. And the only makeup that's left on my face is my brows and my lashes. Nice look, Han. But anyway, I have put together a few clips over the past couple of weeks where I've been transforming my office. Here's a little sneaky peek. Oh, so that is what I'm going to insert here. I can't wait to share this with you so I can stop trying to hide the background. But yeah, if you clicked on this video for the office transformation part, here you go, my friend. Okay, before I show you my office now, I'm going to insert a clip here from my office tour. I think this was in 2016. This was like the first time I made this office. I watched this video the other day and I cannot believe the difference. So this is what my office used to look like. I'm actually a little bit embarrassed to show you this, but that's what my office looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I feel <laughs> so ashamed. I've let it get so messy. I've just got things everywhere. Even behind the door, I've got stuff crammed down there. I mean, balloons. Why have I got party balloons down there? I've just got my coat hanging up, but to be fair, pretty much all of this is P.O. Box stuff. Everything on my desk I haven't posted about yet, which is why it's there. I need to sort out some sort of storage for it. But these flowers were a prop for a video. The Australian hat from a few videos ago. And then underneath my desk is another story. I was going to put this bag of clothes on Depop, but I think I'm just going to donate them instead. I just want to get rid of what I can get rid of and tidy things away and sort it out. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to time lapse this. I'm about to clear all of this away sort through all my P.O. box. Under here, I've got a huge basket of stuff that's full of products. I was originally keeping all the products in that box for my friends to rummage through and see what they wanted, but it just never happened. So instead, I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna donate most of it. I'm hoping that by the time I go to bed, this office is gonna look a lot clearer. Everyone say goodbye to the fairy lights of dreams. You've served me well, my friends, but your time has come. I still get so many questions about these lights. They're only from Amazon. It's literally just two long strings of fairy lights that I've kind of woven like that. The time has come to take them down. I have loved you dearly. You know how they say it gets worse before it gets better? But I do feel like I'm making progress. You've got to give me that. I've changed the shelf up here. Obviously, the lights are all down now. I've sorted out a lot of what's on the desk, even though it might not look like it. But a drastic decision has been made. I'm actually going to be getting rid of this office chair because I can't really see the point in using two chairs. I don't sit at this chair to edit, so it's just a bit bulky. It's in the way. My dad's going to use it at his business instead. And I also have two broken printers under this desk. So I'm about to get rid of those two. Just can't wait for this whole area to be less cluttered. Also love that I put my computer back over here instead of in the middle. It just wasn't in the right place so now I'm going to have like my work desk area and then I'm going to have my filming area instead of it all just mushing into one. How much clearer does that look? Oh my goodness. I can actually put my feet under my desk now. What a luxury. I mean, I know there's still quite a lot of stuff there, but I'm gonna put these lamps on Facebook tomorrow. Try and get rid of them along with that shelf. But so far, I think for one evening, this is really good progress. The amount of stuff I had in this room it's insane. I mean, it is still insane. <laughs> but at least this box is empty, right? And I took down the fairy lights, but as you can probably see, they did leave a few marks. So I'm just about to paint over those with this matte white paint. Very exciting update. 
my shelves are up my dad put these up yesterday i'm so pleased with them they're just from b and q i think they were nine pounds each but i just wanted something that you couldn't really see i know that sounds silly but i didn't want any like brackets i didn't want them to be colored I just wanted something that kind of blended in with the wall. So I've collected all my bits and bobs and put them on here. I'm going to dress these shelves now because they're obviously looking very bare. These are all the bits that I've got to go on them. I'm so pleased with this general vibe. It's very natural, very neutral, very calming. Also got a little picture of my sunny to put in the background. <laughs> How cute is this picture? I love this frame as well. This is from the range. This basket was so hard to find because I wanted a basket that wasn't wicker, that was just woven like this. And I wanted it to be light. I didn't want a dark color. But it's from B&Q. It's actually a plant pot, which is why it's got the plastic stuff inside it. I might keep like memory cards in there or something. I don't know, I'll see. But yeah, I'm going to put all these on the shelves now. I already know this is going to be my favourite bit of redoing this room. I love dressing stuff like this. I love making stuff look pretty. I think I'm happy with this placement. I'm not sure. I'll probably tweak them a bit. I kind of knew like I wanted the basket to go on the top and I wanted the reed diffuser and the gold heart to go on the bottom so then it was just kind of like figuring out the in between. Oh and I knew I wanted the photo frame and this little ball to go together just because I think the shapes complement each other well. This was from the range. It's very random. It's literally just a decorative ball but I've blue tacked it so it doesn't roll around. Obviously I'm never going to light this candle on the shelf because that would be very dangerous. Vera is too heavy to go on these shelves so I wanted a plant there anyway so it worked out perfectly. And this little bouquet is from the Dried Flower Boutique on Instagram. I think they both fit in there really nicely. I'm happy with this for now. The next thing I'm going to do is put a couple of pictures up. These are the pictures I got. This is the first one and this is the second. The actual prints are from Etsy and you just get like a downloadable print. They were I think £10. They actually came in a set of three but I only want to put two pictures up. So then I just asked my dad to print them because obviously he has a print business. And these frames were from Amazon. I wanted plain white frames so it doesn't distract from the print. Because I think the prints are so beautiful. They're like the perfect colours, the perfect vibe. This is my favourite one. I think it's so pretty. And I'm just going to stick these up with these little command Velcro strips. I've just got to take off this backing and stick it to the wall basically. I'm really happy with these. I hope it looks nice all together. I'm sure it will. Okay, so it's now the evening, so please excuse the fact that this isn't in natural daylight, but my office is finished, so I want to show you the final result. This is my new office. I know it looks simple, but one, I wanted it to look simple, but two, a lot of thought has actually gone into this. I wanted a really fresh, clean, minimalist space to work. So obviously, the main attraction is this corner. This is going to be my new filming setup. I know what you're thinking, Han, why have you put the print so low on the wall? Well, because my friends, when I set my camera up, it tends to be sort of like this angle. So to get the prints in it, I obviously had to put them down quite low, but then there was a bit of space above them. So I decided to use the same gold wire that I made this heart from and make a little family of hearts, pretty much just to fill the gap. I was gonna put a clock there, but then I thought that's gonna be ticking in the background. So I just made those for now. I might move them down a little bit, I'm not too sure. But I love the colours of this. I think it looks so pretty. I've decided I do, in fact, like the placement of these shelves. But let me know if you have any suggestions, like if I should move things around or whatever. So obviously that bit is all the same. Underneath my desk is the clearest it's ever been, honestly. I'm obsessed with it. This little table is just one that I use for when I film like close-up videos. Then over here we have my working desk area. So first of all, on my shelf, we've obviously got my YouTube plaque. This is a little card that my mum and dad gave me when I hit 400k. This sign I've had for years, I can't remember where that was from, but then I've also got this little plant from Ikea. This lamp is from Ikea, I love it. It's so handy because this part, you can shine down onto your desk, so you can have a little desk lamp. And I find it incredibly satisfying how well it fits in that corner. But over here, so I've got the same chair, obviously got rid of my big black office chair, and I'm just using this one now. This cushion I actually found in Matalan, and it is the perfect colour. It goes with the office so well. I also found this little footstool on Amazon. 
It does have the lid, so I can put stuff in it. There's nothing in it right now, but I'm just keeping that under my desk. One, because it's really comfortable to put my feet on when I'm sat here editing, but two, it kind of just keeps it out of the way. Sometimes I move it out here, Sometimes I move it over here. It's just super handy to have that. Obviously, my desk is a lot, lot clearer. Oh, got some little pop-ups. Let's get rid of them. They're ruining my vibe. Also changed my wallpaper to match the room, didn't I? Yes, I did. Obviously, I have to have the practical things. So I've got my laptop and then I've got my notebook, my planner over on the desk here. I've got my pen pot and my magazine file. This has got a load more notebooks in it. A couple of spare coasters and things like that. Like things that just aren't pretty, but that are practical for an office. Love this little coaster, hashtag girl boss. Then down the side here, I actually bought this little storage trolley, which I am so pleased with. Again, this was from Amazon. And the purpose of this is to keep my PO box stuff that I haven't posted about yet. Because as you saw in the previous clips, I used to just put it all on the desk. It ruined the vibe massively. So now I keep them all in here until I've posted about them. So at the minute I've just got some fake tan and some benefit products that I'm going to do some Instagram stories for. And then once I've posted about them I can put them away. So it just gives me a place to put them like temporarily. Got an extension lead in a little basket. The basket was from B&Q. And then I've got some more camera equipment behind that. And the top shelf is also dedicated to camera equipment. So I've got a proper place for my camera now. Spare tripods, spare lighting. Obviously, I do still have my big lights and my tripod over here purely because there is nowhere else for me to put these in the entire house and they're part of my job so they're fine in my office. I love how clear the floor is. Yes, please. Moving round to this side of the room. I've cleared on top of my wardrobe, so pleased with this. Now I've just got one little suitcase and some wicker baskets up there just because if I need them for anything, any photos or anything like that, they're super handy to have. I've still got my little plant, this was from Ikea, but at least now I can actually get to all of my wardrobe doors because there was a whole bunch of stuff in front of them before. Down the side of my wardrobe, I have this year's advent calendars. I'm so pleased that I've got this space now. I had so much stuff stuffed behind the door. Like you saw, I had party balloons, canvases, you name it. This was where I shoved stuff. But now, I can open my advent calendar every morning. Obviously these are gonna be here till the end of the year, but usually with advent calendars, because they do take up quite a lot of room, they're kind of just everywhere else in my office, but this year they're all neatly packed away, so I'm so happy about that. Then we have my mirror on the back of the door. I did actually take off the little YouTube stickers that I had here. The red wasn't really matching the room, apologies YouTube. If your logo was beige, you could have stayed. But I love that I've now got another mirror to take outfit pictures in, especially because it's got such a cute background now. But yeah, that is the little overview of my finished office. If you have any questions about where anything is from, I think I've mentioned most things. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to tell you. Desks are from Ikea. Most of the stuff you're looking at is from Ikea and Amazon, to be honest. But I really am so pleased with how this has turned out. I love sitting here. This is where I sit when I'm editing. I usually have my little footstool there. And I love just looking at this. It makes me feel so peaceful. It's really calm. Sunny's usually sat on a little rug down there. It's a really nice working space again. I'm so happy about it. Good morning. It is now Wednesday the 7th of October and we are currently on our way to the very first garden centre of the year. We're very excited about it. We're hoping in. they're gonna have the Christmas stock in. We actually wanna get a new Christmas tree this year. We're not gonna buy one today, we just wanna have a quick look. Um, we usually have a real Christmas tree, but this year, obviously with Sunny, we feel like a fake Christmas tree would be better. We do have a fake Christmas tree, but it's really old, it's really short, and it's really wide, and we kind of want like a taller, slimmer one, just because when we get the real Christmas tree, we always get one that says it doesn't drop the little, what are they, pines? Yeah, pine needles. We always look for one that doesn't drop those, but they always do. But this year, obviously, we don't really want Sunny eating those. We don't know if they're toxic to dogs, but I mean, it can't be good for her anyway, can it, to eat a load of pine needles. So yeah, we're gonna have a look for a fake Christmas tree. Also gonna look for the Christmas decorations. I'm hoping there's gonna be some really pretty ones. We might change the theme of our Christmas tree this year. We usually have gold and red. I personally think like a champagne gold and silver would be nice this year, but you're not really sure on the combo, are you? No, I'll have a look when we get there see what we're gonna have a look for some inspiration anyway. Hopefully they've got some really nice pieces. I might have a look for some little bits for like my background, um, things like that, but I'm really excited. I like going to the garden center any time of year, but it's especially good at Christmas. Blimey, I mean, not very Christmassy, but I've never seen such a big pot in my life. <laughs> 
I don't think you can even tell on camera how massive that is. Very sad news, they didn't even have any Christmas stuff out yet. Apparently the 18th of October is when the Christmas stuff comes out. I mean, the lady looked at us like we were a bit mad when we asked why the Christmas stuff's not there. <laughs> but I'm gonna put a clip in, this is all we could see. It was so sad. They're still setting it up, I can see the Christmas through there. But you're not allowed in yet, because they're not finished. That is so sad. We've come to my element instead, pets at home and they've got the Christmas range in. Got just a few toys. I'm not gonna give these to Sunny until at least the end of November though. Maybe the beginning of November. They're so cute. Look at the little sprouts. How sweet are they? Might have got her a Christmas hat as well. <laughs> the puppy range in Pets at Home is so lovely. Look at all this stuff. They've got a lot of grey. They obviously know that people want their puppies to match their houses these days. Grey beds. Apparently these silicone mats are really good if you've got a messy eater. I've been thinking about getting one of these Kong Wubbers for Sunny for ages. Wubber, what a funny name. Oh, look at the lion. She loves her bumblebee. She's got this. It's one of her favourite toys ever. Ever since she came home, she's loved it. Next fail of the day. We've just come to McDonald's to get some lunch. We don't often do this. I just seem to only vlog it when we do. Um, hang on, wait. We're pulling up to the window. I'm embarrassed. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, guess what? They've stopped doing the cheese share box. They've stopped doing cheese dippers altogether. I said, oh, can we have a cheese share box, please? And she said, is that the cheesy nachos? Absolutely not. It's not the cheesy nachos, it's just the cheesy dippers. And she said, we don't do this anymore. No Christmas and no cheese dippers. This day keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> now the food's not ready, so we've got to park up in the bay. So, exciting update, kind of, for us, not for you. <laughs> We're actually going to be renovating mum and dad's bedroom soon. It is well overdue. Oh, she did need to go out. Sunny's been barking at the door for about five minutes. She's just doing a wee. I don't know why I told you that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be redoing the bedroom, which used to be my old bedroom. So today we popped into home base and got a few samples of colours. I think my mum and dad are going to go for like, I don't want to say a greyish, but kind of a greyish. Not grey, not beige. The bed they've got arriving, I think tomorrow, that is dark grey like my bed. We actually got that from Arista Living because it was such a good deal with my discount code. We got it half price, used my own deal for it, it was great. So the bed is dark grey, but... They don't really want to go for an all grey bedroom. So we've bought three different colours. I'm going to test them now on a bit of wallpaper and then on the actual wall as well. I love doing stuff like this. So these are the three colours. Gentle Fawn, Just Walnut and Natural Hessian. I think I'm going to put my predictions on Just Walnut. I think that's what they're going to end up going with. But these samples are such a good idea. How much were these samples each? £1.60 each. What a bug. They're such a good idea as well. Okay, we've moved to a slightly better light. But this first one is Gentle Fawn. I think it's genius with the little rollers. Oh, I like that colour. Do you like that? Mm. Have we got this anywhere else in the house? Yeah, I think we have. Right, then we've got Just Walnut. Oh, I like that. Do you like that? What colour is that? Just walnut. Yeah, like that. We haven't got that anywhere, so. No, we haven't. That's like a really nice greyish. Yes. You could put grey or beige with What's that. What's that? Greyish? Greyish, yeah. It's the new trend. I really like that. That looks a lot more grey on camera. And then this one's natural hessian. We've got this somewhere, haven't yeah. we? That's a little bit too warm toned, I think. Don't you? Yeah, I do. To go with dark yeah. grey. No, I think the middle one. I think the middle one as well. I think that will go with everything. Yeah. Jacket potatoes are done. Timber's ready. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that will go with gold accessories or silver if you wanted that or yeah. dark grey. And you're having white furniture, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's the one. I think middle so as one. well. Just walk. <laughs> Sunny, do you like that one? You like the middle one too. Yeah. yeah. But once for yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll look at the other colours. <laughs> Hello. Just the normal Thursday morning, I'm about to get in a bath full of milk. Yeah, you have me right. Basically, I'm doing a little job with Vision Direct again, either on Instagram. This video is not sponsored, obviously. But yeah, I work with them quite a lot. They're a company that I love, that I've used for years, and they give me full creative reign. So basically, for this month's post, I decided that I'm going to get in a milk bath. You've probably seen pictures over Instagram. It's basically like a bath of milk with flowers in it, and it looks really pretty. So I'm going to attempt that, however, usually people have someone else taking the photos, like standing above the bath, and obviously that's a lot easier because they can just lay there and do whatever. I've got to do both. <laughs> so I popped out to Asda earlier and I got loads of flowers, spent like 20 quid on flowers, and if you know Asda bunches, you know that that's a lot of bunches because they are cheap. <laughs> 
I've gone for like whites and greens. There's a little bit of blue as well. I thought I'd go for the Vision Direct colours. No, always thinking ahead of me. Always thinking about the little details. Um, but no, mostly white and green. I'm hoping the pictures are going to look really nice. Also bought the milk, obviously. I only bought one carton. Not sure if that's going to be enough. But we're going to give it a go anyway. I thought I would show you because I think it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> All right then, here is the milk bath. The plan is for me to get in here. Look at this contraption that I've built, honestly. If you see this on Instagram, please go and like it because this has taken me a long time. I know all the flowers are gonna move when I get in, but I'm gonna try my best. Obviously got my camera hooked up above me. I've also got my little remote so I can take it. I'm gonna go get a change now because obviously I'm in a hoodie currently. But fingers crossed, this is gonna look really cute and not just super naff me sitting in a bath of milk with some foliage. <laughs> I'm sitting on a flower right now. I have a flower up my bum. Oh my God, they're touching my feet. It feels so weird. Oh my God, imagine if my camera wasn't turned on. I've got milk in my hair. Hello, it's Saturday. Very exciting day for me today because I'm going to my very first pumpkin patch. Can't believe I've never ever been. But I'm going with my best friend Leanne and her family. As I've said many times, we are like each other's social bubble. So yeah, we've booked an appointment for an appointment. <laughs> an appointment at the pumpkin patch. We've booked a space at I think half 11. So I'm really, really excited. We're gonna hopefully get some cute Instagrams. We don't know if it's actually gonna be a good one or not. Leanne's never been either. So it's a bit of a shot in the dark. But let's go and figure it out, choose a pumpkin. I hope it's not gonna go mouldy by the time it gets to Halloween. What if we're going a bit early? This is my outfit for today. I love this little scrunchie, it's from Claire's. Such a nice colour. Um, I've just got this little jumper on from Primark, high neck jumper. This coat is from, I think it's actually from Next. I've had it for years. I've got some black leggings on. These are from Lounge. I've gone for black leggings because I hate skinny jeans. And we're going to Toby Carvery after we go pumpkin picking. Very excited. So I want all the stretch. Yes, please. Leanne phoned this morning and they said it's really muddy. Do not wear white shoes. So I've got my little wellies on. These are little short hunter wellies. I wear them all the time. Especially handy for dog walks. But I'm also going to take my little slip-on vans just for when we go out for lunch. So yeah, that's my outfit. I'm going to put my bag over my coat instead, I think. Because my coat's looking a bit... Um, like a tent. There we go. Sorry I sounded so out of breath. I just ran up the stairs and Leanne's sister is about to come and pick me up so I was rushing. <laughs> Breathe Han. Breathe. Let's go to the pumpkin patch and keep it chill and calm. No stress today Han. It's a Saturday. Enjoy it. Leanne goes, how do I drive a wheelbarrow? <laughs> do you drive it? <laughs> We've just arrived guys. It looks so cute. How excited are you Leanne? Very excited. We've all got very autumnal outfits on as well. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Nice colours. We're going to the pretty pumpkin patch first of all. Apparently there are three. Leanne's on wheelbarrow duty. Until it gets too heavy I'm past it. Yeah, before. until it's too heavy then I'll probably have to push it. Yep, go on. Bump. Over the bump. Whoop. Smashed it. <laughs> We've all got our little wellies on. It's just started to rain though, which is a little bit annoying, but I'm excited. Look at all these pumpkins. Oh, I might get a white one though. Yeah. They look so cute How for the dining you table. I don't know how you go by what the cheapest how one is. <laughs> I love how there's like a corridor of pumpkins. It's so cute. Although these aren't pumpkin plants, we've realized. Actually sweet corn plants. our wheelbarrow of pumpkins aren't they cute i reckon after they've had a little wash had a bath <laughs> yeah they look really cute oh. so, just like your mum then did i yeah. <laughs> after he's had a bath <laughs> i like the shape of this it doesn't look real does it, it looks like something you buy in the rain minus the dirt obviously yeah. look at this one i don't know if i like it or not it's not really floating my boat that much munchkin pumpkins the tiny one that's going straight in my wheelbarrow Okay, so it's a little while later. This morning was so much fun going to the pumpkin patch with the girls. It was just hilarious. Whenever we all get together, we have such a funny time. Like we said beforehand, 
If it's sunny, we'll get nice pictures. If it's not, at least it'll be funny. And then obviously we went to Toby Carvery, had a really lovely roast. Anyway, I'm now out for a walk with little Sunny, just walking down to the park with her. She's got a little jumper on, I'll show you it. It's the cutest thing ever. It's only like 16 pounds and it's really nice quality. It's even got straps at the back for her back legs to go in so it doesn't like ride up. Show everyone your jumper. Oh, isn't that lovely? It was from a company called Lords and Labradors. So the back of the jumper has these. Try and show you these without showing you a bum. See these little straps at the back? It's so handy because then the jumper doesn't move around. It's nice and comfy, isn't it, Sunny Bear? Come on then, I'll take this. Ready, go. Wowie, I look stunning. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. I look very tired right now. I've just finished editing this vlog. It's Saturday evening. I'm cutting it very fine. But I just realised I'd never showed you the pumpkins that I picked out. I've given the little ones a bath. Look at this. The mud was covering the top of this, so I couldn't actually see it when I picked it. But isn't that absolutely stunning? I think I may have the title of the queen of picking the best pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. Because these look so good. I love the long stalk as well. I'm going to keep them downstairs in the lounge for decorative purposes. But I think I'm actually going to film some sort of pumpkin carving video with Leanne. Obviously with the big one. Could not carve a single thing in these two. My favourite has to be the little one. Isn't it just so cute? But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, thank you. I don't know how you made it this far. But you're an absolute trooper. I hope you enjoyed seeing my office transformation. Here she is in all her glory. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you a pumpkin patch goer do you go every year have you never been have you gone for the first time this year i'd love to hear whether it's actually a popular thing or not because like i said i've never been but anyway do subscribe to see my future videos stick around join the fam please do give this vlog a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you're liking the vlog but anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely sunday and i'll see you again soon with another little video bye guys love you say love you tiny pumpkin Love your tiny pumpkin.